There's Graham. She looks like she's in a good mood. What? You sure you're okay with this? I'm positive. Because if you're not, I have no problem explaining why we were late getting back from New York. Lucky, she's my grandmother. It's up to me. Besides, I'm just going to tell the truth that we missed the bus and we had to stay over. All right. I'll be quiet. You're not going to say anything? Not until the fight starts. Then I'll play <sighs> peacemaker. There's not going to be a fight. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. So why should I have to defend myself when there's nothing to defend? I, you know I left a message on her machine. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't very specific, but you know what? It doesn't give her any right to make accusations. You know what? Let's just take a quick walk around the block. What do you say? Why? So you don't make this worse than it is. Come on. All right. Hello, you two. How was your trip? It was nothing more than an honest mistake, Graham, and it will never happen again. As soon as I'm off duty, I want to hear the rest. What rest? It was rush hour, Mrs. Hardy. I mean, we, we tried to get a taxi. We stood on this corner. Yeah, and every time we saw a cab that was empty, I mean, somebody else would get in it. And by the time we decided to walk, it was already... Wait a minute, late. wait a minute. Problems with connections happen to everyone. You can't control that. No, I want to know more about the art school. Oh, well, I mean, it was great. I loved it. Oh, you did? I want all the details as soon as I get home. <laughs> okay. Okay. Graham, I'm really sorry if this was hard on you. I know how you can worry. Oh, well, I really appreciated the message you left telling me you were all right. But after all, you were with Lucky. It's taken me some time, but I, uh, I realize now that Lucky has a tremendous talent for watching over you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, at any rate, I'm glad the two of you are home safe and sound and just in time for your session with Gail. It's my final session. Today's my graduation. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, would you allow me to escort you to her office? I would love that. Oh, good. You don't have to wait a few. I'm going to wait right here until you're done. Bye. Lucky, hi. Tell me. Hey. I didn't know you were working here again. Well, I just tried to get a little of my life back. I hardly recognized you. You have changed so much this past year. How did you manage to grow up so fast? It happens. Pretty soon Lucas is going to be hitting you up for his own car. I suppose you know I'm not able to see Lucas that much these days. I've heard. Well, meanwhile, I'm just trying to correct it. and uh, I just hope he doesn't give up on me. No, you won't. Here's father. I think every kid starts out loving his father, but those feelings don't last without support. And the father might have the best of intentions, but things happen beyond his control. And then the kid does start to have some doubts, and other people reinforce it. And before you know it, then the dad has no place at all in the kid's life anymore. That's not going to happen with you and Lucas. How do you know? There was a time where I had a real hate going for my dad. But see, I eventually realized he's human. Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong, sometimes he's very wrong. But either way, he loves me, you know? And you came to that by yourself? Not quite. I had a little help from a friend. Audrey's granddaughter? Elizabeth. I don't know her well, but... Something tells me she's very special. She is. Look, what I'm telling you is that if Lucas needs to be reminded his father's a good guy, I'd be more than happy to step up for you. I hope that's a speech you don't have to make. I have to go see some patients. Hey, if you want me to put in a good word with Bobby next time I see her, I will. Well, I appreciate that. I think hopefully Lucas would too. See ya. What's up? What's up New York. New York was... It was all right. Yeah. Did uh, Elizabeth like her art school? <sighs> she went crazy for it. We spent so much time sitting in on classes, we missed the bus back. Uh, you stayed over? We got a room. 
Remember uh, you said you thought things were simple between me and Elizabeth, that we love each other and that's all there is to it? Sure. We're still trying to keep it that way. So that's going at deception. The job's fine. It's everything else in my life that's strange. How come? I don't know, man. Maybe it's the freedom. You know, everything it used to be decided for me. Now everything's a choice. Like where to put my furniture and, and, and how often to call my father and what to do about Catherine Bell. That too. <laughs> but you know, I, I wanted to live on my own, you know, and I'm enjoying it. But at the same time, everything sometimes feels like total chaos. Sounds like you're suffering from EPS. What's that? X Prince Syndrome. <laughs> Is there a cure for that? No, you don't need one. I moved out of my house, got it together. You will too. Thanks. Plus, you got all that money to fall back on. So. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm taking Lulu for a skating lesson on Thursday. You want to come? Yeah, I think I can do that. What do you know about Elizabeth's dinner at Kelly's Thursday night? Already accepted. All right. Guess our families won't be fighting on that day, huh? <laughs> be eating. <laughs> Okay, that was close. We made it. Look at this. Eli must have put a gallon of sauce on these things. Not that that's a bad thing. Wait, before Ooh. you do that, do you think I can light some candles? Yeah, sure. You know, next week when we all have our big dinner at Kelly's, I'm going to serve the entire meal by candlelight. Any idea what we're having? You worried? A little. Well, you know what? It's going to be delicious. I'm using one of Graham's cookbooks called 101 Meals You Cannot Burn. Is there an occasion for this, or is it just something you want to do? Well, there's always an occasion. Applying to the art school, going to New York, my last session with Gail. Us. Now that is something I think we should celebrate every day. <laughs> but if I don't get to the ribs really quick, I'm going to have a total meltdown. Okay, go. Eat. Let's eat. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. I always do, especially when I'm with you. Here. <laughs> you want to know what I told Gail today? Isn't that supposed to be private? Usually, but I thought you'd like to hear this. I told her that even if I don't get accepted to the art school, I'm going to be okay. And I can still be an artist, and most important, I will still be with you. It's a nice graduation speech. And you want to know what I want to chase after next? What? Something that's important to you. I already have what I want. After you, it's all a bonus round. <laughs> 